just wanted to point it out when you're putting these back in the metal clip goes towards the outside of the door and then is pushed back on you can do this with or without the clips on I did it with the clips on they snapped in easy enough I found that when I tried to do it and put the clip on after it was kind of a pain in the butt I have lubed up both tracks you can see one is longer than the other when you go to put them in you are going to start with the back one and get that started and then the front one clips in after it's kind of a little bit of a pain so I'll do it off once the windows in slide it all the way back until the white that was at the end of the window is pressed up against that side now that side is good to go we will Got it still apart. We'll just run it up and down a few times to make sure everything works right it's supposed to. Okay. Seems to be it's still loose because there's nothing, no tracks to hold it in place, no front track. So next thing we do is we put the front window back in. We're on our way back to assembly. Now when putting in the front fixed window. It's best to start it in the track with the movable window and then slide it down in place. Nice and easy. And again, the big thing is down inside this well here, there are some washers. That controls the height of this. Those are probably put in as spacers. It's probably different amounts for different cars. Make sure you've got all of those between this bottom bar and that window before you, and the bolt before you put it back together. Otherwise, this window is going to sit too low and you're going to have leaks. Now, what we'll do is we'll put in, I'm going to put in the toughest bolt first, which is this one here. You, when you put it in, for some reason, it, it tends to back away from it. So you end up having to start it with fingers. If you lose it, it can't go anywhere. It's trapped in this little tunnel here. Same thing with this screw. If you lose it, you don't want to lose that front one because that tunnel dips down and you'll be in there with your magnetic finder. Okay, let me get these three screws started. Okay, put the three bolts in loose. Pushed everything up tight against that window. Then I tightened this one here, this one, and the bottom one. Now she's locked in place nice and we're getting ready to put in geez we're so close to being done now we're going to put back in the outside weather strip and then we'll put back in the inside weather strip uh, again good time while everything's out is to clean the windows thoroughly now the greasy hands aren't all over them now we're going to put the outside weather stripping back on you got to make sure you line it up in the opening the way it belongs. That clips underneath. Like so. And then now I saw online someone had mentioned getting a roll of tape, putting it on top of it, tapping the roll of tape with a hammer. Uh, I'm a little too worried about the hammer right next to the glass, so I'm just going to try my way, which is to press it in with my thumbs. And it's not easy. Okay, now we're going to pop in the front. Again, there's a notch here. That notch goes around that pillar. And just got to get it in front of the door. And get it tucked in nice and tight there so that this lines up. And then the same thing. This is actually a lot easier to push in than the other one was. Now there are a couple steps that I didn't talk about that. Uh, one is once you've got the outside piece on, you might want to grab yourself a hose, close this door, and spray and make sure you don't have any leaks. The other one too is once you put on the outside, close the door right, gently and make sure that everything lines up 
over here where it's supposed to so you're getting a good seal around that window before you go opening and closing the doors to do check fit you might want to at least loosely reinstall the airbag module so it's not hanging off the door as you're trying to close it always a good idea I've put the airbag back in I've done that I've done the check fit everything seems to be good so we just need to put the door panel back on but as you saw earlier I ripped off a piece of the door panel I'm gonna contact cement that back in place before it gets pressed in so I will show that after I've got the panel back fixed okay what we got left to do today is put the door panel back on I uh, just wanted to point out um, these cars are pretty old. I mean, this panel hasn't been off in 13 years. Um, these little speakers, there's a ring on the back of the speaker, and that glue has let go. There are two very, very tiny wires that broke off, and it's virtually not repairable. So I'm not even going to put this speaker back on. I'm not sure if it worked in the first place or not. Once I replaced my stereo with a new higher-powered stereo, it blew most of the speakers anyway so that won't be going back on the other speaker wire will get attached the other speaker wire is the black wire and it's black to black so that's pretty simple snap that back in place She's good to go the next thing too is I recommend you put the window down you've got to fit the top of the door panel inside here and it's nice to be able to flex that out of the way. Okay. Now that that's out. It might be nice too to start at the front because you've got this black plastic piece. You don't want it to separate from the door, so maybe feed that in first. Ah, maybe not. Definitely a tight fit over the top. Okay. I want to make sure my door lock is coming through, but I don't see it now. back in these guys here and then take something thin and kind of just lift this up and run it across the top I just use the car key run it across the top to get this piece of rubber to lay over the top of it now you just feel each one of these make sure it's in a hole and then pop it in place just feel your way around make sure those things are in the holes so you're not breaking them off as you push them in Good, and I just put the two screws back in. Done. It was a little bit of a pain, but it fit in. That window's still not super speedy, but it's working much better than it did. So, hopefully, this 
avoids me having to go spend $180 on a replacement regulator, which you can use most of this video just for that. Okay, thanks for watching.